So what are the differences between the Revlon Plus and the Revlon Root Booster? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is May and I create fashion and beauty content. Today's going to be another hair tools comparison review. And this is the famous Revlon One Step Blow Dryer. We have the two newest ones from the collection. This one's the Plus and this one's the Root Booster. I also own the original one and I compared that one to the Plus. If you guys missed that video, I'll leave it right here. First, let's talk about the prices and their claims and the descriptions between the two of them. The Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer Plus cost $69.99. It's designed to give you one step salon quality results and then some. Benefits, 75% shiner blowouts in one step, can be tailored to your hair needs with less damage, 50% less heat exposure. Features ceramic titanium tourmaline technology helps reduce and protect against heat damage for silky smooth healthy look results. Oval brush versatile 2.4 head size ready for all hair types, closer to root and more styling options. Charcoal infused nylon pins provide ultimate drying and styling. Low, medium, high and cool heat setting for more customization. Slim and sleek handle and detachable design for greater control and easier storage. Long lasting motor for 40% longer life. Designed to dry, boost roots and create bold styles for any length. Ceramic and ionic technology for a salon style finish, less heat damage, less frizz and more shine. Bangs, layers, bobs, lobs, this one's for you and you volume lovers. Style that's designed to dry, boost roots, and create bold styles for any length. One and a half barrel for adding extra body, creating soft curls and flips. Three heat speed settings for every hair type and any type of styling. A six foot tangle free swivel cord. First, let's talk about the similarities. There aren't as many compared to the differences, but these both you can use on wet hair. I find that it's easier to do and just better for the health of your hair to do it on damp hair. I'm not talking about soaking wet hair. I find that it just takes longer and it just damages your hair even more. The length of the cords are the same. I wish this was longer. This isn't long enough for me, especially if I'm trying to dry my hair in my office. It works fine in my bathroom, but anywhere else, I just find this to be a little too short. As far as the loudness, it's pretty much the same. I don't really notice a difference, and in fact, I'm so used to it. That's kind of what you get for something like this. And I think that's all the similarities. So let's go into the differences. Starting with the root booster, because that's what I did my hair today, but I'll also show you how my hair looks with the plus. The root booster, I really love the size of this barrel. One and a half is perfect for what they were talking about. Just like that body and that movement and that really soft curl that I created today. It works really well with layers, bangs, curtain bangs, just shorter hair in general. Now, if you have longer hair like me or even longer, I find that this just takes longer to dry my hair and style it in general compared to the plus. And a big factor for that is because of the brush size. Another difference are the bristles. As you can see, these do not have those little, I don't know what to call them, those little circles on the ends. So this feels a little more rough. Now, if your hair is quite fine and it's just hard to get a good grip of it, I think this would do a really great job. That's how I'm able to create a really smooth blow up because of this. But I still think the other one does a really great job. This one on the scalp just feels a little more rough. It actually reminds me of a bristle brush like this, something that they would use at a salon to create a blowout. This is also slightly longer ever so slightly i'll just show you guys side by side can you guys see it's ever so slightly the motor on the root booster is a little bit smaller as you can see at the base now the biggest difference besides the barrel size are the heat settings so the booster has three settings cool low high which are the exact same settings as the original it also feels the same too so i don't love that because i can never use high and low is still quite hot and you will see throughout the video when I'm styling my hair I can't keep it too close to my scalp or too close to my hair because it is so hot There is no detachment on this unfortunately So it is harder to clean and harder to store and for the plus the brush head is 2.4 This is ideal if you're in more of a hurry to do your hair just because it could take a lot more hair at once I like to use smaller sections with the root booster because it is small This one I could just overall go a little bit faster and because of this brush head I get more of a straight blowout or one that has a little bit of body 
to my bangs or now layers, but you don't really get all of this that you're seeing down here. Again, you'll see a side-by-side -side of the differences and what you can create, but this to me doesn't give me all that body and volume. And then the other main difference, which is a pretty important one for me at least, is that the settings, there are four settings, cool, low, medium, high. And I think that's a big reason why people were so curious about the plus, because a lot of people felt that high was way too high and even low was still quite high now that we have a low and medium i actually primarily use low which is lower than the original and lower than the root booster it's just more comfortable and i find it to not irritate my scalp as much and of course this detaches so that's really nice if you're traveling just storing it in your vanity and whatnot it allows you to clean a lot easier and so if you're choosing between these two i would go for the plus if you will have longer hair like me or in more of a rush and you like a straighter blowout with just a little bit of body and just like a little bit of bounce to it and then for the root booster i think this is great if you have shorter layers bangs of any type and you like creating soft bouncy curls honestly it's hard for me to choose i've had this one for way longer this one i've only had for a few weeks I think there are pros and cons to it. Ideally, what would be great is if Revlon came out with just this brush head size as a detachable that you could add to this or something completely separate. I could totally see them doing that within the next year or two because for me, what I love about the Root Booster is this brush head. A one and a half is perfect to create a ton of volume and a ton of body. If you guys wanna see a dedicated tutorial using the Root Booster and how I create ultimate volume and body, let me know down below. I could totally do that. I feel like I finally figured it out and how I get the best results at home. I hope this video was helpful navigating through the Revlon hair tools. If it was, like this video, subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content, and I'll see you guys in another video video. Bye!